Hi, Emma and Emma. Kate, it's Miss Pam. I hope you girls are doing well today. And um, it's a little chilly outside, a little windy. So I have been just home up in my room making some uh, videos. And I thought it would be a good time for you girls and Miss Pam to do a little bit of review with counting by fives and counting by tens. And then we are going to kind of shift our focus to uh, working with money. So what I want you to do right now is just put your eyes on the screen um, of the computer where you see my hand and a whiteboard. And I've got some flashcards here and we are going to practice counting by five. So if you would, as Miss Pam lays down the flashcard, we will um, count by fives together. All right, are you ready? Again, I know that this is um, just a review for you girls. So here we go. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. Now, the reason I'm stopping at 60 and not at 100 is because before spring vacation, when we were using our math calendars, we had stopped at the number 60. So before I introduce, um, or in some, you may know them all the way to 100, um, I would like to make sure that we are able to count by fives to 60 um, using our coin, the nickel. And why, are we, why would I use the nickel to count by fives? That's right, because a nickel is worth five cents. So I'm gonna get my nickels, and I want you to help me count by fives as Miss Pam lays the nickel down below the number. Okay. Now you don't need your money boxes right now, but you will in just a little bit. All right, so let's see how many nickels it takes to get to 60 cents. Are you ready? Here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Excellent. Good job, girls. All right. So I want to stop right there with our counting by fives. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up our cards. But I'm going to leave our nickels out. So what I would like for us to do now is practice counting by fives without our flashcards. So Miss Pam is gonna get them lined up in a straight line so that it's easier for us to count each nickel only one time. All right, so let's get our counting finger ready. Now remember, we don't start with the number one. We're gonna start with the number five because a nickel's worth five cents. So here we go, count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 
55, 60. So we have 60 cents on our board using our nickels and counting by fives. All right, so I'm gonna pick up our nickels now and we're gonna have a very quick review of counting by tens. Counting by tens. So I'm gonna do the same thing that we did with our first um, set of flashcards, but this time we're going to start with the number 10. Here we go. You ready? Let me move that down so you can see it. Eyes on the screen. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right, did you get all of those? All right, now I'd like for you to try to count them on your own. So when Miss Pam points to the card, I would like for you to count by tens. Here we go. One, two. Excellent job, girls. All right, so another way that we can count by tens is using a certain coin that we know is worth 10 cents. What coin do you think that is? That's exactly right, it's a dime. So we know when we are using the dime or buying anything with the dime, we know that one dime is worth 10 cents. So let's practice counting by tens using our dimes. Are you ready? Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we have 100 cents in dimes. Now if you remember correctly, we can also say, oh, let me get that, 100 cents, I hope you can see that, is also the same thing as one dollar. But how do we make that into a dollar? We put a decimal after the one, and instead of our cent sign, we make an S with the line through it. So this amount, 100 cents, if you remember, is also the same thing as $1. So that's gonna lead us into a little lesson on how we can use different coins but come up with the same amount. But before we do that, why don't we practice counting by tens without our flashcards? You probably hear my doggy barking in the background, so sorry about that. <laughs> All right, let's count by tens using dimes. Are you ready, girls? Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Excellent. All right, so here's what I need you to do. I want you to get your money box out or your baggie of money. And these are the coins that I need you to get out and put on your workspace. I would like for you to get out, let's see, I need you to count out 10 pennies. I 
Okay. Now I would like for you to get out. Um, let's see. Go ahead and get out five nickels. One dime. And we're going to start there. Now, this is going to be a pretty easy review, okay? Because I know when we left for spring vacation, we were really working with higher numbers um, and more coins than this. But I would like to review, first of all, how we can create or make the same amount using different coins. So what I want you to do first, and I'm going to let it be your choice. I want you to show me one way to make 10 cents, okay? Just one way. You can either use your pennies, your nickels, or your dime. All right, if you used your one dime, that is correct, because one dime is worth 10 cents. There's another way to make 10 cents. Okay, now I don't have any more dimes, but I have pennies and I have nickels. Um, so if you used all 10 of your pennies, that is also correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now, looking at our nickels, is there another way we can make 10 cents? I believe there is. How many nickels are we going to need to make 10 cents? Well, we know one nickel is five because we're counting by fives. So two nickels is 10, five, 10. So that also makes 10 cents. Now, uh, Miss Pam meant to tell you to get out a few more pennies. So if you have five more pennies in your baggie or your money box, go ahead and get those out. And if you don't, it's okay. You can just follow along with me. There's actually one more way that we can make 10 cents. Now, if you remember, I always remind you girls to start with the higher valued coin. So we have nickels and pennies. So which coin is worth more? Is it the penny or the nickel? You're right, it's the nickel because the nickel is worth five cents. Now, we could use another nickel to make 10 cents, but we already did that. So, we can actually use two different coins to make 10 cents. We know that a nickel is worth five. So, we can add pennies to make 10. Remember how we talked about switching our brains? We are not switching our brains, but switching our thinking as we're counting. We are using two different coins. So we have to count, start by counting with fives, but then we have to switch and start counting by ones because the penny is worth one cent. So let's do this together. We start with five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So here 
here we have four different ways that we can come up with to make 10 cents using three different coins, the dime, the penny, and the nickel. All right, girls, I know Miss Hannah has given you some math worksheets for you to practice coming up with different amounts using three different types of coins. So what I'd like to do before you complete one of your math activities is do a little bit of practice with that skill. So you're gonna need your money boxes. And what I would like for you to do is get out, let's see, get out your dimes, just like Miss Pam is. I think I sent 10 dimes with you all, I'm not sure, but get out a few dimes. Let's get out two, three, four. Let's do five dimes, five nickels, and five pennies. Why don't we do it that way? So we'll have five of each. Okay, you see Miss Pam, she has five dimes. One, two, three, four, five. Nickels, one, two, three, four, five. And pennies, one, two, three, four, five. Okay? Now, why do you think I have them grouped from dimes to nickels to pennies? That's exactly right. We always want to start with, a, with our higher or the highest valued coin. And in this case, the dime is worth 10 cents, so that's why I have it at the top. The nickel's worth five and the penny's worth one. So what I'm gonna do, girls, is I'm going to write a certain amount on the whiteboard, and I want you to come up with the coins that make that particular amount, okay? So the first amount that I'm going to write is, hmm, let me see. Twelve cents. Now, there are different ways that we can make twelve cents. So I'm going to let you choose the way in which you want to make twelve cents. So I'm going to give you a couple of uh, about a minute or so to come up with that. You're coming. You're trying to decide what coins will equal twelve cents. All right, now one way that we can do this, and I'm gonna start with my highest value coin, which is a dime, which is 10, but I have to make 12 cents, so what is it that I'm gonna to need to add to the dime to equal 12 if I have 10? We need to put the number 10 in our brain and count up to 12. So we have 10, 11, we're just counting by ones, so that's why we have to use the what? The penny, that's right. So we can make 12 cents using one dime and two pennies, 10, 11, and 12. Now there's another way you could have made 12 cents. You could have used your nickels, right? So one nickel, is five, two nickels is 10, but remember we're making 12 cents, so if we have 10 cents, we can add one more penny for 11 and one more penny for 12 cents. So given the amount of money that Miss Pam asked you to put in your workspace, there were two ways to make 12 cents. All right, now I'm gonna switch it around. This time, I want you to 
write down, and I probably should have told you this before, if you could grab a pencil and a piece of paper, or you can use your, a whiteboard if you have it nearby, I'm gonna put some coins in order for you, and I want you to do the same. I want you to get out, or pull out three dimes, one nickel, and one penny. Okay. So you should have three dimes, one nickel, and one penny. Now, what I'd like for you to do is I want you to come up with the amount that you have in front of you. See what you come up with. Remember, we're gonna start off counting by what? Tens, that's right, because we have a dime. We have dimes first. But then it changes to a nickel. So we have to change to counting by fives and then add on one, because a penny is worth one cent. Okay, see what you come up with. All right, write that number down for me if you can. If you came up with the number 36, you are correct. Now, if you didn't, it's okay. We can go over it together. Okay, watch Miss Pam. 10, 20, 30, but I'm not counting by tens anymore because I have a nickel, which is worth five. So we ended with 30. So if we add five more, that's 35. And what's one more? Because it's changing to a penny. What comes after 35? You're right, 36 cents. Very good. Let's do another one. All right, I did that pretty quick, so I'm gonna let you get caught up. I would like for you now to get out two dimes, two nickels, and two pennies. I'll wait till you get that together. Two dimes, two nickels, and two pennies. All right, let's see if we can come up with the correct amount. Remember, we're starting with our dime, so we're gonna be counting by tens, then changing to fives, and then ones. Here we go. If you think you have the answer, go ahead and write it down. Think how you're going to write that number. And now let's count together. Are you ready? 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 30, Two. So we think in our brain, how do we write 32? A three and a two. We have 32 cents. All right, I hope that review helped you today. And if Miss Hannah has put in a worksheet for you girls that have um, three coin combinations, um, hopefully you can practice one of those worksheets and I will see you next time and we'll probably do another lesson with some more coin combinations. But anyway, I hope you girls are having a great day. I sure do miss you 
and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.